Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and this lesson will be about groups of objects. I've prepared uh, some entities and uh, I've already placed them inside the drawing area uh, and these entities uh, have the goal to show you how to work with groups. Um, groups are a very uh, practical and a very uh, useful way to work with, with objects. Uh, we've seen already some functionalities about blocks. Blocks uh, is in fact a great tool, but um, I think groups allow us to be much more flexible uh, with the functionalities we have um, inside the group commands. So let me try to show you a little how uh, these groups functions work. This is quite easy and uh, basically to create a new group you just to be uh, under the home menu and then group panel. There are several ways to create a new group but basically if you expand this panel and open this group manager you'll be uh, the dialog box that I want to show you. This dialog box uh, has everything about groups. So basically we want to create a new group and I will create this new group with these three lines and the middle one and I will call it left sorry left and then new. Um, I can add a description, I will not do it now, new and then the software brings me to the selection and I will open a window and you see they are a little, uh, they, they have a, a light blue color which means that they were selected for this group and then enter and you see a group name and this um, mode selectable is with no. Okay, I can give it a name or just saying unname it, but uh, for this purpose uh, I, will, I will give a name. I think it's better to understand what I have. Now I will create a new group and I will do the same, three lines and the middle one. This is to show you also that any entity can belong to more than one group. Okay, so new and now this enter again and the new group is created so the okay now what happens is that i have two groups and i can turn on or turn off the functionality of having grouped entities and that gives me a lot of flexibility you see that now i have every entity perfectly split it and if for some command uh, which I need to make I need uh, uh, we need to make a selection I can select entities individually because the selection mode the selectable mode of the groups is turn it off so I will go again inside group manager and if I go here and select one of the groups uh, when I select it, these modes below open and uh, I can remove one object from the group. So if I have in this case four objects, if I do the remove, it will say, okay, which one do you want to take out? I will not do it now. Um, on the same way, I have the head where I can add uh, another object to the group, it's the same the same way. I can rename the group, uh, reorder which is not very interesting because um, it, it has the function um, thinking in CAM software to make a milling path so it's not our purpose here. I can add a description okay, and say this is the left group of entities or whatever you want. I can do the explode and the explode basically will destroy the group 
and I can turn them selectable okay and you see now it has a yes and okay now if I have the selectable mode you see they react as one single entity okay uh, on the same way I will do on the right do the selectable uh, I want to show you one more function here which is the highlight okay select one group then highlight and you see okay it show me which objects belong to the group I selected uh, so now I have the selectable in both and if I, if I go over one object all of them are selectable so you see the middle line belongs to this one and belongs to this one but if I go over the middle line because it belongs to both of, of the groups all of them are selectable um, basically these are the functions uh, I will not show you how to deal with the, especially with the functions inside the modify panel because the idea of groups is being able to select objects uh, in groups it doesn't matter what you, what you will use bef uh, after just uh, grouping them okay we have a couple of uh, buttons out and uh, for example this big one the group this is another way without a dialog box to create a new group if you go here you see it will make you the questions below so I, I, I consider the other option much more convenient to work um, we have the group edit that has the same function as you see adds or remove objects from a group so basically it has the same function as these two buttons here remove head I have the end group which is the same inside the dialog box to do the explode and I have this uh, selection on off which is the selectable mode just to say they are selectable or not okay so these are the functionalities to understand how to work with groups and uh, I hope this has been a clear explanation on the way to deal with this command.